has been only one Pokemon card and one Pokemon card only that has been in my mind for the past couple of weeks. It is the gorgeous, one of a kind, Leafeon Alterna Art Pokemon card. I have been dying to get this out of the brand new set Evolving Skies and everyone has been telling me Ando, since you can't stop thinking about it, you've got to track it down, you've got to try and pull it. So today, we have got, I kid you not, none other than an entire booster case of the brand new set Evolving Skies. And we're gonna crack this bad boy open. And I'm definitely gonna give a shout out to my absolute main man who made this all possible. He didn't want a shout out at all, so I'll just leave a link in the description below as a uh, big thank you for getting this down to Australia. Um, uh, but look at this. This right here is a completely sealed, holy on Jemima. It's six booster boxes of Evolving Skies. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope right now that the Leafeon alternate artwork can be found inside of this booster case right here. If you're excited, please demolish the thumbs up button. But without further ado, let's open up all six of these booster boxes and get to opening a lot of boosters. I am so excited. Oh my goodness me guys, it is finally happening. We are opening up the brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield set, Pokemon Evolving Skies. This right here has to be one of the most hype releases of the year. I haven't actually got to open it, I reckon, for two weeks now because the last one I got to open was from the Pokemon Company. And then this set has only just come out here in Australia. So it's been a bit of a wait, but I think it's definitely hyped me up way more because I know the cards that I really want to pull. Number one, obviously Leafeon. That's the card I'm dying to get. I've been really wanting it in Japanese and I think now it's out in English. This is the card we're gonna hunt for. But another one would be the Alterna Artwork Requaza. That thing is ridiculous and it's got a pull rate. I've got it written down here. This card is one in every 283 booster packs. I, I don't even know what to say. That's more than one in every case. So we're definitely not guaranteed it. That would be a card I would probably jump out the window for. Um, we're gonna Dino. We're gonna Slacking Reverse. And the very first card is none other than a Galarian Moltres. Already looking pretty good. All right. So obviously we're gonna go after the Requaza. That's a huge hit everyone wants to get. Um, it would be unreal to be able to pull that one today. But another one, Leafeon, any of the Umbreon, Espeon, you know, those alternate VMAXs. Um, any of the full art cards, apparently the full art trainers are really difficult to try and pull in this set as well. It is so massive though, there are so many cards for us to try and get, and I'm really really excited. I think there's so much good artwork for us to take a look at as well. And for Rose, shout out to Mareep at the back right there. And let's just get cracking, I think, I've just, I don't know, see, I've seen this set everywhere. I've seen so much like, advertisement for it, everyone getting so hyped for it. I've been like, oh my gosh, we gotta crack it open in bulk. We gotta get that booster case going, see what we can't track down, and maybe we even build out a binder or something. I reckon it might be the set because if we've got a booster case and we're hunting for a particular card, I've got a feeling, Flapple, shout out to my boy. I love Flapple, love Appleton. But I've got a feeling we're gonna be opening a lot of the sets, so we might as well build out a binder or something. Um, and then I also reckon, oh, boys, I think that's texture. I think that's texture. I think we've got a full art card, and full art cards aren't guaranteed per booster box either. One in every, uh, 56 packs. So about one in every two boxes is gonna have a full art, which means there's only about three full arts in this whole case. That's weird to say. Okay, Amolga, Wubat, Philosopher, got the tentacle, and then none other than a full art we could on the first pull. Look at that. Holy Aunt Jemima in West Virginia. That's what I want to see. This is why we open up the booster case, ladies and gentlemen, because we get the full art Suicune. Look at that texture. It's unbelievable. Full circle swirl. Oh my gosh, my favorite dog Pokemon is Suicune on top of that. Oh my, I'm sweating. This is amazing. Lime green, bright blue. That's gorgeous. Got the toilet paper flying around him. This is unbelievable. As if that's our first pull. This can't, oh my, this can't be real. Okay, Suicune Full Art V card. That's our first hit. Not just a regular V, not just a V Max. 
a flipping legendary doggo as the full art card. All right, there's the code cards. I'm giving every code away on top of this. And as far as the giveaway for the packs go, I reckon once we get, should it be either the Leafeon or the Rayquaza? Once we get either one, I will give the rest of these booster packs away to you guys. Oh, it's back to back. This is ridiculous. The new studio has come through with the goods. Oh my goodness, as if we just did that right now. These trainers are one in every 197. That is insane. This is nearly one per case, and I've already got Xena's Resolve. Oh my goodness. Thumbs up the video, because this could be Ando's luckiest opening on the whole channel. Evo Skies is my new favorite set. Look at that. Holding the Pokeball. This is a gorgeous card, and I think it actually sells for a bit at the moment as well. Wow. Dude, that's... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in shock. Two full art cards? If that's not saying, Ando, you've got to start building out a binder, I don't know what is. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, the recap's already off the charts. Um, let's keep going. Can we do... Should we... Let's try and go... Let's try and do three. Let's try and do three hits out of three packs. I'm going... That means we're going for a middle. All right, what do you think? Oh, this would be unreal. This would be unreal. Oh my gosh, it's white and green. Do not give me... Okay, okay, what, what could it be? I think it's a holo, I think it's a holo. Let's not get too excited. Elemental Badge, that looks pretty sick. Swoobat, Fletchling, what do you reckon? Scraggy, Hippopotamus, Time Pole, Rubber Gloves, and a Salamence holo card. Technically, it's a white and green, so I'm definitely going to take that. It's a beautiful holo pattern as well. It's a dragon type with the claws up the top. I love that touch they put in the cards. Let's go four for four. You ready, little Tim Tam? Watch the master at work. It's going to be in the PS5 artwork. That's right. It's a PlayStation 5 on the front. Open this up. Can we do it? Are we going to look at the code? Oh, it's a solid green. That's okay. Let's go four from the back. We just need these uncommons, commons, and regular rares to build out the uh, 203 regular set minus like 50 secret rares. It's absolutely insane. Okay, so we're gonna slack off. We're gonna rescue carrier, which is what you carry your cat around. And then we got Tropius. All right, rally back and solar beam. Let's put you to the side. All right, again, let's go back towards the top and see if we can't get lucky. Really, the card that we're looking for I think the Evolution alternate artworks don't have insanely like difficult pull rates to try and find. It's getting that particular Evolution that you want. So like I think finding an alternate artwork Evolution card, probably not the most insane difficult task in the world, but if you're hunting for the particular one like me, like I want the Leafeon, that's when it gets a bit difficult, if you know what I mean. Probably made no sense at all, but. Oh, this is awesome. I can't complain at all over two fuller cards. I wonder what our first, like, alternate artwork or, like, alternate anything, like, really rare card's gonna be. Dude, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Another white and green. So this first part, I think, is gonna be our warm-up one. And then we'll end it, like, after we've opened about 100 packs or so. We'll end it tomorrow um, with the second part and open up the rest of the packs. Even if we need to. I mean, today might be the final episode. We might not need tomorrow's episode because we're gonna find... Either of the cards that we're looking for, look at that holo. Dude, absolutely amazing. Love the Reggies. Alolans are back as well. But yeah, maybe we don't need tomorrow's episode. We're going to find the Rayquaza or the Leafeon, like on this pack right here. And I'm going to give the rest of this away to you guys. Could you imagine? Five booster boxes. Just anyone that's clicked that subscribe button at home. So if you've clicked that subscribe button, it's all you really need to do. And then follow the steps once I announce the giveaway, whether it be like comments or whatever it is. Okay, four from the back. Unlisted Leaf, always a great sign when you see that one. But I don't think it should stop there either. Like, say we, you know, get either card we're looking for, Leafeon or Aquaza, and I give the rest of these away. I'm thinking, because I love this set, and I'm really, really excited over a brand new TCG set at the moment, working our way up to celebrations next month. Maybe we should just get another case. I mean, call me crazy, but maybe we try and get both the chase cards I'm looking for or maybe they're both going to be in this one. That would be bonkers. All right, four from the back. We got Lightning Sight. Got the badge right there. Gordy, Zwapalopalopalus, Lotad, Amolga. Got that Wubat, Glossifer, Feebas, Full Face Guard, and a Lilligant as the regular rare. All right, let's try and demolish like, the top half of this, I reckon. 
because these are all facing backwards. It's weird with the new set, like these boosters don't combine and pile up as high, so it doesn't look as many, but I can assure you it's still 216 boosters we're going to get through. Um, and I hope these code guards are blessed just as good as like all the other past episodes as well. No, you know, no Charizard chase guard this time. It's Rayquaza, which is a bit of a refreshing change. I do get around both the Rayquaza like alternate artworks, and I get around all the evolutions they put in this as well. I'm a huge evolution fan. Don't, oh look at that, Smeagol, and this artwork will link into a coughing art as well. But yeah, I'm a huge Evolution fan, like, I love Umbreon. I don't even get that angry, like, Espeon is incredible, and we've already pulled the Altern art. If you haven't watched my first ever Evo Skies opening from the Pokemon Company, they actually sent it from the Pokemon Factory, go check that one out. I'll try to link it in this video, with the eye icon, like, right there. Um, but go watch that one, because I got really good stuff towards the end of it, even if you skip, like, Past 15 minutes, I think all the bangers are right at the end. Full of BB, and then... Oh, well, first V card, it's Vokorona. I know, not a huge fan favorite. A lot of people getting angry when this is like the main card they pulled in their booster box, but hey. Let's be appreciative, we've got another V card in the books, adding on to the ridiculous roster so far. I mean, yeah. It's, I don't know, it's, it's okay, it's a V card. It's probably not a Pokemon you get overexcited about, but I think it's still a cool pull. I always think like, if I was a kid and I got a V-card, just be the best thing ever. So, even though you at home might not, might not like it, I think there's some people that would really love just any sort of V-pull. Okay, so let's go four. Dangerously close. Nearly finished the top, the third story, and then we move on to the second story of the Tower of Boosters behind it. Love this, got the Chin Chow. Pet Lil, Dino screaming right there, and a Tropius. Man, we've doubled up a fair bit on the Tropius packs right now. There's the uh, solid green. There's no, um, I don't know, there's no amazing rares in this set. There's no like, unless I'm wrong, I don't think there's anything we really need. Like when there's a solid green, we're sort of just doing it for the binder. You're getting all the cards that you need to fill out that normal type of section in the middle part. Scoutland right there. So we just gotta sort of pray that we come across a white and green eventually. Oh, you gotta go through these solid greens though, especially I suppose when we've done the back-to-back -back full arts. Maybe I'll start pulling them from random parts of these uh, piles in a second. Swablu, got the C dot. Woobat, Eevee with the Rayquaza cameo up there. This is a card that sort of summarizes all the ultra rare pulls in the art. But then we got the Moon and Sun badge, and we got a Thievil as well. Okay, let's keep going. Everyone says this looks like a PlayStation 5, and I do agree, actually. So let's uh, put you to the side. And there's the white and green. That's what we like to see. Beautiful code card. Fourth in the back. We got Fire Type right here. Then we got Avalug, Dream Ball, Vigoroth. What do you think it's going to be? Psyduck, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Swablu, and then a sweet own regular V. We've got the full art, and now we've got the regular V card. That is unreal. Look how good that looks. I love Suicune and the fact he's got a V and a Fuller is absolutely ridiculous. And just quickly, that attack down there, Blizzard Rondo, is that like an ice cream you get takeaway at McDonald's or something? Yeah, I'll just get one Blizzard Rondo, thank you. I mean, okay, fair enough, Suicune's got a uh, part-time job. Okay, not too shabby though, I'm pretty psyched about that. Managed to get the V card, managed to get the full art, and let's keep it rolling. I reckon... There could be an alternate artwork around the corner at any second. I mean, even like, okay, say we don't get like an ultra rare alternate artwork or anything. We're still sort of hunting for a rainbow rare. I just think rainbow rares nowadays, they just may be so difficult to try and pull because I haven't seen one in so long. I think a lot of the products people have been recommending to me if I'm trying to find like really rare stuff at the moment. Um, not the ETB surprisingly. Apparently the ETBs are pretty like average. They don't have the craziest pulls. Reverse Ampharos, and then Shift Tree as the regular rare. So let me know in the comment section, have you opened up an ETB? Would you recommend Uncle Ando goes and pick, picks one up? Uh, but I don't think the ETBs are on the recommendation list because everyone reckons the three pack blisters that you get at the shops, not the check lane individual ones, but the ones that have the three boosters in there with the promo card, apparently have really good pulls. So might have to go and get a couple of like three packs Maybe a case of those three pack blisters. There's something here. There is a hundred percent something here. C dot reverse, and then oh, none other than our first V Max of the day. It's Deraludon, aka the Sony PS5, right there. The sold out console. Look at him. Beautiful hand drawn sort of shading on this card. I love the swirls. Love the texture. I think we pulled this one earlier. 
I gotta double check my Evo binders in the other room, but I think we got this one on a previous opening. Daryl Luton VMAX, I'll definitely take it. It's the mascot, guys. You gotta take the mascot. Oh, it's really nicely shaded, isn't it? Skyscraper is literal. What is that? G Max pulverization. I don't think as a kid I could even say the word pulverization, let alone read it like that. What a name for an attack. Gee, like you're over. If someone's laying the G Max pulverization on you, just pack up your egg sandwich and head home because that thing's over. Um, but yeah. I think the three booster packs with the one promo blister packs have really good pulls, but another thing I've heard really good stuff about, and it makes total sense, it's the pre rel Is that miscut? No. I thought that was miscut for a second. Bag on, and then Lily get regular rare. But apparently the pre-release kits, you know those square looking boxes that have four boosters and the promo card sort of thing? Apparently, off the charts good. And it makes sense because when the set was in the pre-release stage, everyone was pulling cards. I was like, how is my whole timeline just alternate artworks, full arts, gold cards, rainbow rares? So maybe, I mean, you can let me know. If we open up this whole case, which would be a bit depressing, and we don't pull either the Leafeon, we don't pull the Rayquaza, and we're still like, guys, what do we open? You're gonna have to let me know, is it the three packs that are really good, or is it the pre-release kits? Or maybe everyone in the comment section, like all of you guys have had amazing luck with the ETBs. I would love to know. Okay, three more packs and then we'll clear off all of this. Maybe open up a couple more until we end it for tomorrow's uh, big part two. I really want to just get one massive hit though before we end the episode. Scraggy, Ursa Ring Reverse and another holo. Man, how are we doubling up on the same holo cards already? It's weird, like 200 cards should be big enough to not double up too much with. But I suppose as long as we're not doubling up on, you know, the ultra rare V full arts or whatever, because I don't want to, I don't know, change that ratio. It should be okay. Got the Swoobat, Hip Hop, Hippity Hop, Dino, Mareep! Yes, love when I get a Mareep. Got the Wabba Fett, love disc. And then, none other than a Metacharm V card. Oh, awesome. I didn't know Metacharm was in the set as a V card. Man, I love it. You know what? This set actually. There's probably a link here that I'm completely blanking on right now, but this set reminds me of Pokemon Emerald. Whether it be the green on the booster pack sort of art right there, whether it be Rayquaza being part of the set as a mascot, that Meta Charm gives me Pokemon Emerald vibes. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you, do you get like sort of flashbacks to, not Ruby and Sapphire, I don't think there's any connection there, but Pokemon Emerald. And Pokemon Emerald as well, one of my favorite games, like I was literally, Oh my gosh, I was thinking about buying a sealed copy of Pokemon Emerald the other day, went on eBay, and I think I fell off my computer chair. Like, I kid you not, those things resell for crazy amounts nowadays. Sealed video games are insane. Someone told me uh, that the Pokemon trading card game that I've got sealed from a mystery box ages ago could go for like $20,000 nowadays, and that's just blowing my mind. Okay, here we go. Final booster, and then we're going to clean up the set, all right? Vigoroth? Dude. We're only two full arts deep, which shows how rare these full art cards are. Nick it, but I just think that means something's definitely around the corner. Let's just do one more for the lols. I just want to keep going till we get something and then we can tidy up the set. Is this oh, oh yes! Let's start randomizing where we pull all the booster packs from. Just so we can try and track down. I just know there's a bangerooski around the corner. Don't you get hyped like me? Like once you start opening, you're like, can't stop. It's not healthy. Okay, so we've got a seed up, lily pop, bag on, get out of here. Wabba fit, reverse, and there we go! No, no, no! Oh my goodness! Secret rare, alternate VMAX, Zero Luden full art. Oh, boys, that's not too bad at all. Look at that thing. This is a very, very sought after. Look at that shine. Oh, that glitter. The, honestly, the, the, the camera can't even pick this up. Dude, that is unbelievable! And that's what you want to end it on before you cut to a cleanup. Look at the glitter though. Oh my gosh. If you are not excited, now is the time. We've got sensational pulls and we've still got so many packs to do. Look at that, look at that. Oh, no way. I'm in love with Pokemon cards again. Honestly, this set has just revitalized my love. Okay, let me quickly tidy up and then I'm coming right back. Don't worry, little Timmy. Don't go anywhere. And just like that, we're officially back. All right, let's see what we can't do. Let's try and cook up some damage to end off part number one right here. I mean, seriously, that is just a beautiful Deraludon VMAX. I didn't ever think I'd be saying that about that Pokemon, but 
It's the shine that they put on the cards is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we've got a Crossle, then Elemental Badge, followed up by Dwebble, Mareep. Here we go, Scraggy, Feebas, Galerian Moltres, and straight off the bat, I know it's Noivern B, but guys, it's still a B card. This is absolutely sensational. The pull rates we're getting, really, really good. I think we're cutting in between different types of boxes right now. I do not think this is all about the same booster box because that luck would be unbelievable. Okay, Umbreon, pluck from the middle part. Oh no, pluck from the middle part of a pile. And seriously, every booster we open, we could be getting the cut. Oh my gosh, I think it's something, I think it's something. I think it's something, all right. Chair, chair's going down already. I'm, I just don't want to throw that chair around. You ready? Dude, what is it? Skip one. Here we go. Side up. He looks a bit fat in that photo. I don't care. Eevee, cutie fly, Pikachu, Applin. What is it? Tropius. Oh, sugar. I thought that was like alternate, but who cares? Gyarados, V Max. Straight after the Noivern. Straight after the Deraludon, V Max. Tell me this isn't the best Evo Skies luck you've seen in the hottest minute. Unlisted Leaf is back in action. Wow. Gyarados, V Max, guys. Could you imagine if they gave this guy like a gold alternate art or something? Look at that, that's awesome! So much texture on that card. VMAX texture? Perfect, Bellissimo. Oh god, I thought that was something. Alright, you ready? Let's do it again. Gyarados VMAX? Oh my! We've got to call it quits because my luck is so good right now. But I don't want to call it quits just yet. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Can I get another one? I don't even care, the chair at the back can stay there, whatever. Yo. Does anyone else get the feeling that... Oh! Look at that, look at that. Oh, that's definitely a full art! Okay. No way. No. Seriously. Seriously, what's going on? I'm, fu I'm I swear, this is legit. Like, whatever happens, happens. Okay, you ready? Unlisted Leaf. It's always the best time when it's an Unlisted Leaf energy. Rubber Gloves, Copycat, Zwopalopalopolis, Diagonal, Pet Lil, Burgemite, Drowsy, and then a Leafeon full art! The card! You can't make this stuff up! Ladies and gentlemen, I am this close to getting the Leafeon Alternate! We've got the full art! It is beautiful! That orange sunset background looks like a pina colada has been spilled there! Oh, that's awesome! Guys, I can't believe we got the full art but not the Alternate art! It's fantastic on one hand because I'm really happy about it, but on the other hand it's like, oh, you can't get closer than that to the card we want to get. Dude, that's awesome! Oh my gosh! Is this a sign that it's gonna be in the box? I don't know. Dude, I reckon this is the box with the Requaza in it. Like, 100%. I don't care if the ratio is not in our favor. It's- it's- It has to be in this in this uh, case. <sighs> breathe, Ando, breathe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> this has been awesome. What the heck happened? We sorted out the packs and I've just had to like- I always dream. I'm like, I'm thinking- you know when people always ask you, they're like, what would your superpower be? If you could get one superpower and people are like, oh, I'd go invisible, I'd fly. You know what mine would be? Scan booster packs and work out which ones have the full art card in them. So like this one. So be able to like scan it, oh yeah, nothing in here. Or, oh yeah, there's an uh, alternate art. Okay, wait, ready? Are we gonna do another one? There isn't, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. That was awesome! No way! I'm gonna end the uh, episode soon, I think, because I reckon we've used the luck for today. And this is just... I really want to do a recap as well. This is just awesome. And we haven't got that many boosters. It looks like uh, a reasonable amount to open up tomorrow. Let's open you up. What can we get? Another white and green. Why wouldn't it be? That's how you're gonna do it. Pluck it from, like, any end. Palpatode, Shopping Center, Swablu, Zura. As if we pulled Leafy on full art. Like, what are the chances of that happening? Ludicolo Holo card. I love it. My boy's so happy it's raining in that photo. Let's go to this one. As if, out of all the Pokemon, it's Leafy on. What the flip? Look at them, how much air is in this. What the? It's like, have, the printing quality of these packs has definitely gone downhill. Man, I feel like this is maybe rushed. Like a bit of a print job or something. Gee whiz. I don't even know. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there. It's Hail on Flame, regular rare. That was just a really shoddy made pack, actually. I didn't like that. All right. Let's go with Sylveon right now. Jeez, the camera's having an heart attack. It's like, Ando, seriously. I can't take any more pulls. Come on. Just a couple more boosters. <clears throat> Lady, that's what I like to see. 
white and green. Can we possibly get something with texture? I don't think there's a way, but if we do, I'm gonna die. Zoopalopalopalus, copycat, resolve. We already got the full art, don't even trip. Psyduck, rufflet, drowsy, and then drowsy reverse. And then what are we gonna get? Dialga as the hollow. As if Dialga's got a hollow, that's pretty bananas too. Dialga hollow. We're gonna do the recap, don't worry. I just kinda wanna keep picking out random packs. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't know if you can tell or not. Okay. Put you to the side. Oh my gosh, awesome. Okay, four. Probably due for a couple more regular V cards, to be honest. Maybe even a V Max or two. We haven't seen too many of those. What's really common? You know, full arts are actually not too uh, rare. They're one in 56, so about one in every two boxes. Galarian Moltres. I'll take it. This is uh, one of the pre release cards as well. There's a pre release Evo Skies logo on it, so getting the regular version's not the end of the world. Let's go from here. I want to pick like a couple from like this end here off camera. Okay, scoop this one. Oh, it's a regular green. That's okay. Let's get a couple from the uh, left hand side in a second. We got fire type, switching cups. Got the crossal, chinchiao, dino, pumpkabu, kavana, victini, and a regular rare shift tree. I'm going. Requaza time. Come on. Let's try and find one sort of Requaza art. He's the mascot of the set. Everyone wants him. Or Umbreon, that's a huge fan favorite actually. But I really want my Leafy on alt art. Everyone keeps tweeting me the alt art as well. Like, if someone pulls the uh, Leafy on on Twitter, I get about 10 people trying to tag me in that post saying, Ando, look at this. This is our third Holo Reggie. Not even making that up. So yeah, it's a bit sad at this point. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Keep these white and greens going. We're plucking them from left, right, and center right now. Let's try and end it. You know what? As soon as we get a textured card, that's when I'll end the uh, episode today. And we'll start part two tomorrow. Litleo and a Glaceon V. You've got to get the Evolution V cards, guys. I think this is my first ever V pull out of uh, Evo Skies. I reckon we got a Glaceon V. That's gorgeous, though. Frozen Awakening and Heavy Snow. Don't worry, we'll come back to it on the recap. For now, though, we're just trying to get through a couple of boosters. Trying to find that beautiful textured card. Ooh, ah, these code cards are killing me. All right, we've got a psychic type right here. Got the lantern, got the spirit mask as well. Gordy, Litleo, Lotad, Cryogonal, Teddy Ursa, Nicket, Lotad again, and Alteria right there. All right, we've got a Sylveon right here. And let's go. Come on. God, come on, let's go. The luck's got to bless some one of these packs, one of these boosters. Metal type, Crossal, Sun and Moon Badge, got the Toy Catcher, Sign Pole, Cutie Fly, Applin, Sableye, and then uh, Appleton. I love you, bud. Oh, let's go from the bottom. Let's actually go from the bottom. I'm trying really hard to work out where these boosters would have been placed and where we would have put things. Oh, that's what I want to see. What are you guys getting in the code cards? Let me know. You can cash all the codes in right now, so. Once you cash those in, only take one code at a time, let everyone get one, and let me know what you pull, whether it be a full art, gold card, maybe you got the Requaza, or Art Leafeon, or maybe a Holo Dialga, which we can put to the side. Umbreon on time. Okay. Oh no, oh no, it's another solid green, that's all right. Umbreon, you can't do me dirty. Okay, fighting time, Ursaring. What's everyone's card that you want to pull? Let me know in the comments, like, have you got a card that you're dying to get? Maybe it's like Golden Cresselia, maybe it's the Flareon, I don't know, some random pull. I would love to know what you're hunting for, what I should try and get. Let's get this one going. Bust him out of the pack, and then, ooh, could this be it? At any moment, I reckon it should crop up as well, because we haven't had a hit in a hot minute. Got a Herdia, Scroll, the Webble, Marie Patri I love that I'm still on my knees. Okay, so we're gonna Palpatone, and there we go, Espeon speaking of evolutions. This one is an absolutely gorgeous one. Laser beaming someone with his little, like, laser eye up the top there. It's so hard, I swear, for Espeon to have a bad artwork. Like, Espeon's always just on top of the world in terms of, like, how they do the art, how they, like, make the card look. So, I'm always happy when we get an Espeon. Looking gorgeous. A lot of Espeon fans out there as well. Ooh, okay, this is it. This is gonna be it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Swing it around. Or this could be just another uh, uh, holo card. Ursaring, Crustle, Mareep, Zora, Tentacle. It doesn't help that today it's so hot in Australia that uh, 
I feel like I'm going crazy a little bit. Kiram as the holo. Not too shabby. Kiram is still a legendary Pokemon. I'm going to go from the bottom on this one. And try to pluck out the... Oh, gee whiz. Okay. Try to pluck out the goods. Oh, no. It's all a great. All right. Let's do maybe four more packs and then we'll call it. All right? I feel like we've gone a bit too long. Got a darkness type. Stormy Mountains. Shogun. Full face gone. Got the Feebas as well. Hippopotamus. And then... Oh, everyone's favorite blue. I was going to say lucky ice pop. No, more like bubblegum ice pop. And there we go. The bubble. Everyone knows blue means bubblegum flavor. Sylveon on time. Now, I think Sylveon actually might be one of the more expensive evolutions to try and get. Oh, no. So, I wouldn't mind a Sylveon as well. But let's keep going. Flareon actually looks really nice. Jolteon is very underappreciated. Same with Vaporeon. Those original three, they really carry the evolutions and... There's not too many big fans over like the original three. Sylveon's probably one of the most favorites behind like Umbreon. Espeon is a huge favorite as well. Look, oh, we'll do one more. One more after this and that's it. I really got to call it. Okay, here we go. Darkness type. Skiploon, Fletchlin. There'll be none for tomorrow otherwise. Cedar, Slackoth, for BBBB, and then Giggle Earth. Where are we going? Let's go this one. All right, requires the time. Come on. Open you up. Boom. This is how we're going to end up. White and green. That's what I want to see. Whoop. And let's go to Gold Town. Water type. Got the Gordy. Nuzleaf. Got the Nick Hit. Whoop. What's that? Burgemite. Kavana. Amolga. Slackoth. Jumpluff. Let's do one more. Floor just hollowed. That's not going to cut it. That Uncle Ando's going home. All right. Let's open up the mascot, the PS5 himself. Oh, it's a solid green. All right, let's speed open this one. It's a Smeargle. Okay, let's go. Another one from the bottom. What can we get here? All right, come on, come on, come on. This is officially the final pack. I gotta call it, all right? No more. Hold me to it. Unless delete. Fletchlinder, Lantern. I just feel like, you know, we're getting something special in this booster case and I'm so impatient, like I wanna know what it is. Sableye, hit on down, and then, oh, it's a double up of the Suicune. As if, okay, fair enough, I'm not gonna push it, let's have a recap, this is definitely a sign, the first full luck card, we end on the regular V form, which is double up, let's have the best recap of Evo Skies today. Ladies and gentlemen, these boost packs right here are every single pack that I will be opening up in tomorrow's video in search of either the Rayquaza or the Leafeon card. And guys, once I find either one of those cards, what you're looking at, all of these sealed brand new Evo Skies boosters, whatever remains, I will give away to one lucky comment in the comment section of tomorrow's video. So whatever you do, click that subscribe button, ring a ding ding the bell, and show up to tomorrow's upload. It's just gonna be absolutely nuts, and especially if these are the cards that we're looking at for recap for today's video. Now on the recap of today's video, this is actually a really, really good lot of pulls, I think, for what we opened up today. I think it's such a good selection and really good cross-section of the brand new set. I mean, look at this. Start off with the hollows. I'm talking three Reggies as the double ups. You can't really go too wrong there. We got two Dialgas, we got the Salamence and the Moltres as well, times two. But then come up to here, the V and V Max selection is unbelievable. Look at the texture on the Gyarados. Unreal. Then we managed to get two Evolutions as well. Got the Espeon and the Glaceon. Doubled up on Suicune, but let's be honest, when you get a full on Suicune, I'm not gonna be too mad at that at all. Got the Derelude and V Max and a couple of other V cards. Look at these full odds though. Are you looking at how gorgeous the Leafeon is? So we got the Leafeon with the sunset, sort of pina colada, sun-kissed background. Then we got the uh, Suicune as well. A trainer full art as well, which is like particularly insane to get in this set. Like they're really rare. So Xena's Resolve. And then the icing on the cake. I can't believe this right now. We got a Deraludin VMAX God. What the heck? It's the alt art version. This is like... I think the ratio to get an alt art is further than one in every booster case, so I'm really fortunate, so lucky, and the fact we have so many packs tomorrow, oh my gosh, it's gonna be unreal. If you're excited, let me know down below what card should I hunt for, besides the obvious uh, two cards right there, but have a fantastic day. I can't believe it. I'm gonna put these cards in a binder. Most of those guys, you're gonna keep on gaming. All right, guys, next time, I'll see you then.